Brilliant to be back on the set of the Musketeers. It was all very highly anticipated from the end of season one. It was always kind of we always kind of knew in our, in, our, in our own minds that we were going to be coming back to do a second season. Everyone's kind of come back bigger and stronger, and the confidence levels have kind of been raised. So it's uh, yeah, everyone seems really happy. It's good. I like that D'Artagnan's got this kind of fierce fierce energy and venom about him, actually, this appetite for justice. He's a fully-fledged musketeer now as well, so still building that relationship with the other three lads as well, kind of really enjoying having that, that to play with. D'Artagnan's definitely matured, 100%. He spoke about appetite for justice, but he didn't know how to control it. You know, it was kind of, he just went in all guns blazes and to hell with the consequences. But obviously in season one, you saw the, the relationship between D'Artagnan and Athos grow and uh, episode eight where D'Artagnan finally becomes a musketeer. It's all about, you know, using your head over your heart and, you know, kind of actually, you know, try and control this kind of temper that he's got. The list is as long as my arm about the good things about coming back for season two. I've had nothing but a good time on this and it's, you know, it continues to challenge us and, um, and obviously, you know, like being at the boot camp season one when we hardly really knew each other we've all formed this beautiful relationship now and we're like we really are like a little band of brothers you know it just makes you want to get up in the morning you know come down and just give it a good go and you know you're never going to have a boring day i think just to be back with the boys again you know to be back with all the you know the cast that we know and love and working with characters and as characters that we know and love and you know just kind of given a second go at working on a project that we all enjoyed so much puts faith in the show i suppose puts faith in puts faith back into us and who knows it might even go for season three We left off with D'Artagnan and Constance, episode 10. They confess their love for each other once more. They're happy, they're good to go. And then uh, towards the end of the episode, she says, I can't do this, I've got to think about my husband, Bonacieux, which obviously breaks D'Artagnan's heart. In between seasons, you've got to imagine it's been probably about six or seven months. Um, and then when you pick them back up, D'Artagnan is obviously now a fully fledged musketeer. He's had a chat with the Queen, he's got Constance a job in the palace so he can be slightly closer to her, you know? And obviously he's looking after her welfare as well. He wants her to be more than just a housewife to someone that he really doesn't like. And it's kind of, you know, that relationship's evolving all the time as well. And I'm really enjoying working with Tamla. I mean, I enjoyed it last year, but obviously because we're being, we're being given new material to play around with, it's just becoming more and more enjoyable. It's great. I don't quite know where it's going to end up because I've only read up to episode six, but it's, uh, it's, I like where it's going. Success in, in anything is, is nice. The success of the Musketeers was kind of like, had a, was like a double whammy of, of kind of joy, really, because we, we'd all worked so hard to get an end product. You know, it was like sword fighting, horse riding, you were battling the elements, you know, in a lot of the scenes, you're wearing hot costumes. It's just, you know, working with incredible actors which inspire you to do better work. You're just constantly, constantly, you've got a new villain every week and, you know, you're constantly being thrown these kind of curveballs and you've just got to try and smack them back. And it feels like we're, we're doing it, you know, and it was kind of, I think, just the, the fact that we've worked so hard to get a good end product and people are enjoying it just gives you a good, real, real good sense of accomplishment. Physical skills I wanted to, wanted to work on were, were definitely the, the sword fighting. I felt much more at home with the, with the, the horse riding. I found my, myself kind of finding my feet a lot more towards the end of season one. So when we wrapped season one, it was kind of like, right, okay. Now when we go into season two, that's something I know I've kind of feel a lot more comfortable with it now. Some of the sword fights we've been choreographed this year have been great and I feel so much more comfortable in them. They just, you know, they're fierce. When I've been choreographed as, as a sword sequence, I will put more time in to perfect it and get it absolutely right. You feel very butch wielding a sword on the back of a horse. It's great. So just when you thought riding a horse made you feel butch, like taming the beast, to do it with a sword in your hand just makes you feel all the more epic. <laughs>